All right, friends, welcome back to Enshrouded. And as you can see, I'm sitting on a bench. Enshrouded has had its first major update called Hollow Halls. There is so much to go over here. I mean, there's new quests, there's dungeons, there's plants in pots, there's round doors and windows you can sit down, there's new trees you could plant, there's a new UI. Magic chests now give you the ability to access their inventory when you're crafting things. Let me see if that's actually true. Actually, we could do that before. I think it says that magic chest items are now available in workstations. So I'm not exactly sure what that means. One of the things I've been wanting is for magic chest items to be available when I'm building. Um, I've been playing a different game recently, so I have to remember, like, actually how to build certain things. Uh, there we go. Oh, no, you still can't access your material. Um, for building stuff, but, but, yeah, there's just, like, a ton of stuff here. Let's get into it. Let's get going. Let's keep the adventure going here. So, we've got some new quests. Let's see what's going on here. The spinning wheel. So that's odd. She gave me a quest about using the spinning wheel, but we have a spinning wheel. Let's take a look here in our journal and see what that's all about. Maybe we don't have a spinning wheel. Is this? This is a hand spindle. Oh, so we have a new crafting station. Or was that there before and I just didn't notice it? Oh, we have new items too. Items called clutter. Oh, they're giving us the ability to add the little trinkets and stuff like that around our base. Oh, very, very nice. That's exciting. Now get out. Let's see what kind of clutter he has. Got a flasks, two different flasks. And here we go with the spinning wheel. Okay. So we're about to complete this spinning wheel quest right now. So what does this do? Does this actually just like craft things quicker than they normally would. I wonder if that's kind of the, the deal here. Maybe we stick it right here next to this one. Well, it kind of has a nice look to it, so I'd like to keep it somewhat visible. All right. So yeah, it only has one recipe. Oh no, that's not true. It has two recipes. So we can make string and we can make linen. Interesting. Okay. And now, did that complete that quest? It did complete the quest. Alright. So, our farmer friend has something to say to us, I think. Nope. Oh, but she has the new potted plant, so let's take a look at him. We're, we're gonna put so many potted plants around here. Like, it's just gonna be ridiculous. Let's see. Oh, we have flower soil now? I don't think we were able to make that before. Yeah, look at these. Oh, they even have ones that attach to the wall. It, this is this is huge, especially for someone like me who wants to decorate. Like, I want to spend a lot of my time actually decorating things. Okay, how do we make a flower pot? Who makes flower pots? It's got to be, like, the carpenter or the masonry. I think it's the car. It's got to be the carpenter, right? Oh, here are those rounded windows. <laughs> nice. All the hobbit houses are about to happen right now. Maybe we make the potted plants ourselves here. Oh, look at that castle wall stone. That's new. Warm, white, luminescent block. Interesting. Oh, here's where we can make the rounded doors. Okay, I'm not sure. Was she actually making the potted plant and I just missed it? No. I wonder if it's a new recipe inside of one of the items now. Like, you just craft it up? I can't see that being the case. It is the case. Okay, so they just craft inside of this thing. That seems like an odd way of doing things. Yeah, that does seem a bit odd. Hmm. Okay. Well, now we know. So we could do that. Let's go see what's going on downstairs with our friend. Oh, somebody else in here has a quest. Oh, it's the guy downstairs. It's the Creepoid. And I think he's going to give us the dungeon quest. Let's talk with him. Yep. Descending into the hollows. So it looks like he also has some clutter to craft. Oh, look at that. I'm going to craft that right now. 
Yeah, where can we put... I mean, this thing just looks cool, right? We'll, we'll put it right here. That looks cool. I, I can't wait to just, like, clutter this place up with all the clutter. But we do have a new quest now. So we're going to go ahead and go for it. I think we're headed over here. So... Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what these dungeons are, what they offer us, what kind of new goodies we're about to get. Is this it? Oh, it looks like it's up top, maybe. I probably should have saved my boost there. That's all right. We could just run up here. See, these things, these buildings, because I saw a picture of these kind of dungeons. There's one in every biome. Um, this is obviously the first one. I think the quest is going to take us from biome to biome. We'll have to see how that actually goes. So, where is this? But these buildings, they had to have been here because I don't ever remember seeing this particular building, but I have seen buildings that were unaccessible that kind of look like this. Look at that red. Look at that absolute awesome red in here. Like, that is, that is so good. All right. Let's start collecting some goodies here. How, how are we looking on backpack space? Let's let's address some of this real quick first. Unfortunately, I've got way too many arrows on me. <laughs> like, why do I have all these arrows on my character? I mean, we're definitely not going to run out of arrows, which is, is good. I don't think we want to go into a dungeon crawl and run out of arrows. That would probably be bad. Um, yeah, let's get this dungeon going. So this looks mineable. All right, we can mine bones now, apparently. Does this actually lead to something? No. Yeah, lots and lots of bone mining going on here. Interesting. Okay, we got our first piece of lore here. Okay, so these hollow halls are actually real. And they were not aware of that, apparently. And now they've discovered the truth. Look at this furniture. Look at that. I want it. I want I want the furniture. Give me the <laughs> Give me the furniture. <laughs> Give it to me. And I'm pretty sure there's a new NPC in here too. Um, let's see. We go to Yeah, look at the bottom left corner of the screen right now. There's definitely a new friend that we can unlock. I saw that there's a new crafting table that at some point you can unlock. I don't I don't know how quickly you get those things or if that's something What is that? That little green ball there. Okay, here we go. We got our first little bit of enemies. Level 10. Oh, okay. So, I do know these dungeons are meant to be more of a challenge. But I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. I might go ahead and actually eat some food and stuff just because why not give ourselves that extra bit of health oh that's new ice protection lotion <laughs> why <laughs> why is it not a potion why is it a lotion that seems very odd <laughs> let's see yeah that seems very very odd to me okay yeah, whatever game do what you got to do. I'm going to go ahead and kind of loot up as I make my way through this. I think for the most point, if you don't want this spoiled, probably just don't watch this. I don't know how much of this I'm going to cut down because I think it might be interesting for people to see kind of what the dungeon is like and how challenging it would be, especially if you're an archer. Um, you might be interested in that. So you know what? Maybe I won't spend too much time grabbing and collecting things and I'll come back and we'll just kind of make our way through the dungeon. So we have a checkpoint here. That's kind of great. We'll take that. I love sitting. I mean, like, it's such a simple thing, but like, look at this. And we fit in. This outfit is made for this dungeon. Like, we look so good. Um, why are there so many people here? Also, shouldn't my arrows be just absolutely wrecking these dudes? Oh, I forgot to eat. Wow, we're going to have to melee this, aren't we? I, th I think we're going to be spending a lot of time meleeing, which is not great. I have put a lot of points here. 
let me show you guys kind of where we're at skill wise so we do actually have some melee damage points going on just because we've got so many attributes like yeah we've we've grinded on this game hard so our character's pretty crazy op um we'll go ahead and eat up which is just going to make it like over the top like we probably won't have any problems getting through this at least this initial dungeon i don't think i think we'll be pretty safe going forward yeah i think arrowing although that single arrow dropped that guy maybe it was because i needed to eat to get some of the perks going um but i think we might be switching back and forth between melee and an archery Lots of bones. Can you imagine how many people in this game would have had to have died to make just this one pile of bones? That seems super disturbing. Okay, there's like a a rune here. Oh. oh. We have to do things to like unlock doors. There's something up here. Okay. Oh, nice. So we just have to find runes to unlock choke points. Where are they all going? <laughs> you guys saw that, right? Where are they going? What happened over here that they're running? That's making me nervous. Like, were they all just bolting from some... This is cool, man. Hold on, do I even have... I don't know if I actually have any wisp light things on me. I don't, so we'll have to switch to the torch for now. Anything back here? There's nothing back here. What? They all just came running out of here for no reason. Okay. We'll hold off on going toward them for a minute and just kind of see what's in here, maybe. There's enemies around, so I have an ability that when there are multiple enemies around, I get it like a shield. Oh yeah, see, we're like one-shotting people. If we actually hit them. These dogs are annoying. Dogs are always annoying in games. They're just so fast, you know? Yeah. So the food... We were right on the cusp of one-dropping these guys anyways. But the food kind of put it over the top. Ooh. Skull summoning vessel ectoplasmum fragments. All right. Yeah, the fact that that note ended in your friend is super creepy. <laughs> super creepy. Bone arrows. We have bone arrows now. Okay. I don't think a bone arrow is going to be more than a fossilized arrow when it comes to damage. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. 17. What's a bone arrow? Oh, here's the bone arrow. 14. Yeah, I mean, I'll take the extra points of damage just because, like I said... It's dropping people pretty quick, like one hit drops, so... Yeah, I mean, look at that. Critical hit on that dog. Drop you. And it's more effective when I'm making my shots, of course. There's a lot of dudes coming. But, that's fine. I mean... I expected these, these dungeons to be difficult. But our character is really, really, really high level. I mean, we're like end game plus basically here. So I can't imagine this dungeon's going to give me too many problems. I mean, if there's enough dogs, I could see that being problematic. Whoa, there's a lot of dudes coming. <laughs> okay, doggos. Okay, that was, was a little fight there. Put up a little struggle. Thankfully, we've got that quick heal rejuvenation going on. Look at our rested time. We're at an hour. <laughs> an hour or something. It's just so insane. This dungeon's huge. Yep. An arrow to the head will drop you immediately, friend. You're not going to survive that headshot. That I want that. Wait. Can you stop for a second? I'm trying to talk to the audience here. I want this. What is this? 
That is a really nice pattern there. That looks really good. Okay, he's new. I don't know. What did he just do to me? He, like, froze my legs. There we go. Interesting. Okay, we are making our way through this thing. It's big. It's a lot bigger than I thought maybe it would be. Well, actually, I had no idea what it would be. Alright. Oh, it's killing me, guys, not breaking this stuff down. I'm, I'm walking past all this good loot just for you. Red marble fragments? Okay. I will take that. Definitely take that. It's too bad we're max level, too. He's dead. Uh, because if we weren't max level, we could be leveling up like crazy here. So that dude had something above his head. But he didn't... Did he drop? He didn't drop it. Oh, there's a shield here, though. Look at these guys. Oh, it's almost unfair. So he has a rune above his head, too. Okay, so in other areas, we collected runes, but it looks like maybe in this area, we kill people with runes to unlock the door? That's kind of kind of what I'm thinking here. Did that? Yeah. Okay. So different air. Oh, I see something glowing over there. Different areas work differently, apparently. This looks like that glow stuff. Oh, ectoplasma fragment. Okay, so this is new. I wonder what kind of cool stuff we're going to be able to build with this. I mean, that stuff. That's a much softer glow than the blue luminescent stuff we had before. Like, this is actually not super overpowering, so I'd like to build stuff with that if we can. Alright, let's keep going here. See what else is going on. I keep waiting for, like, a huge bot. Is that... See, like, is this bones? Like, what is this? Is this rubble? Oh, man. If you need rubble... We've got the ultimate source of rubble at this... Oh, I think we have to go in the floor. Okay. Oh, we're still going... Still going down. I see runes on the left and right. Let's see if we can get to one of those things. So the new glider is great. However... Uh, what's not great... That was cool, actually. We knocked those things out right away. Uh, whatever what's not great is the speed sometimes because sometimes it can kind of throw you places you don't want to go how did i get a critical hit am i getting a critical hit on the floor yeah, i think so because i was like how did i get a critical hit but then all right let me get that what's up skeletons oh there's a there's like a lot of these guys around here. Thankfully, we did put some points into melee because I couldn't, I couldn't arch. But being able to do archery and melee like this is pretty awesome. Okay, I see another one there. One here. But that did not unlock that door. Is this stuff dangerous? Like that looks like lava. Oh, yep. Yep. Oh, oh. My health was go <laughs> My health was going away really quick. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Okay. Yeah. I don't want to mess around with that stuff. All right, let's see. Okay, we can go. I see something shiny here. I see bats up there. Um don't really want to use a health potion, but I... Oh, jeez. No. See, that's... That's what I'm talking about, is that... The speed on the glider sometimes is not... It's really not your best friend. Because it can get you in situations where you're just, like... Flying kind of out of control. It looked like there were a lot of bats up there, so I want to be kind of careful. Maybe I missed something here. Okay... Vampire bats gonna suck my blood. Oh, there's something here. Okay. Uh, nope. Sometimes I just want to jump 
and not glide, but it wants the game wants me to glide. Okay, did that do it? I didn't get the little pop up on the screen, so I don't know if that was the final one or not. Nope, the door is still locked. So we're still missing something somewhere. Maybe it is up here by the bats. Let's go up to the bats. Hey bats, be nice to me, be kind to me. I'm gonna use the auto aim on these bats. There is one here, okay. I don't typically ever use the auto aim because I don't like it. But when it comes to bats, it's actually pretty helpful. You didn't know, and you're playing on a controller like me, which is probably rare. Um, if you push in the right thumbstick, it will give you an auto aim. But you you can't do any headshots or anything with that. Ooh, yeah. Look at this new UI. Like that's kind of interesting. Also, I feel like the camera is further away from my character than it has been in the past. Oh, oh. all right. That was. <laughs> It was a little reckless there. It was a little reckless. We're still doing good on food. And this thing is long, though. We're still going here. Go this way. Let's go through this gate. Let's see what's up. Oh, here we go. The spikes in the floor. These developers, they love their spikes in the floor. Oh, this looks terrible. These things just do... So much damage. Oh, okay. I didn't really want to run that far. Yeah, put some distance between you guys. Okay. We're gonna have to resort to just mindlessly swinging our axe here. Which was really effective, actually. <laughs> I'm very glad that I put those points into physical damage. I was like, am I going to need that? What's up, guys? Trapped in here? Let me help you out with that. Okay, so far, annoyed, but not really challenged. Yeah, like, and again, I don't, I don't think that's anything against the dungeon. Ooh, there's a nice big chest over there. Let's go check it out. See what's in here. But I don't think it's anything to do with the dungeon. It's just, again, my character is so overpowered. My food is so overpowered. Like, we're we're in-game, in-game character. Playing on the very first dungeon. That is a really poor reward. So they have not adjusted the, you know, your reward may not be the best. Oh, we got buttons. We got buttons. Apparently just a single button. Alright. We need a repair station. What does this say? Why are we this person's benefactor? You know who wrote this? How, how do I know who wrote? I don't know who you are, man. You know who wrote this. <laughs> okay. We got another save point. Oh, we got a repair bench here. That's actually really good because our axe was taking some serious damage. Okay. And this place is still going. This place is literally huge. Oh. We go underneath. That door's locked and open. This is cool, man. Look at this. Yeah, these game designers are really 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 good this game is just amazing the fact that they rolled out an update so they had a roadmap that came out a little bit ago and it had all these things on there they checked off like half of it almost i thought the roadmap was like this is what we plan on doing over the next year course of a year or something is this something oh i could just loot a bandage um no that's that's not what they did at all they went absolutely hard is that the boss are we fighting a boss no he's got a rune above his head though Okay. Oh! What's up, party people? Holy cow. Yeah. Taking some damage here. He 
These little, like, skull things they throw out are annoying. That dude tried to run from me. What? Whoa. <laughs> Where did all you guys just come from? Oh, I just saw one of them scream. I wonder if they scream... They spawn in more people. Oh, man. We're gonna have to, like, repair our axe already. Okay, guys. This is... Wait. What is... Who is that? Oh. He seems like he's gonna do some serious damage to me. Is that like a boss guy or something? Oh. I mean, we got overwhelmed, we got slammed on like crazy, and our character held up just fine. Just fine. There's so much loot on the ground. Okay. So they don't relent. I guess that's really good. I think these dungeons are intended for you to be playing with friends. Like, I could see someone doing, like, an area of effect attack, and then, like, having an archer and maybe a healer while your tank is just beating on people. Can we go in these doors? Did not go in those doors. Okay. We have to go forward. There's a... There's a whole army of people here. What? <laughs> Okay. This, this is ridiculous. Imagine the amount of XP I would be getting right now. Yeah, the amount of XP would just be absolutely insane. Although, we just completely annihilated those people. Can you... Man, what a coward. You guys saw that, right? You, you saw him run away like... Getting lots and lots of this ectoplasmum stuff. Yeah, see, that's what you get. You wanna, like... Oh, these doors are open. There's a chest in here. What's in here? Oh, hollow hall building blocks. Heck yeah. I'll build with that for sure. I've missed so many shots. Like, I really need to get more accurate. <laughs> oh, there's another one of those dudes, and he's got a rune above his head. Thankfully, you just snipe him out from here. Okay. Take him out. Dog's moving back and forth on me. Okay. He's just standing there. He's dead. Alright, let's let the dogs come over. Man, they got, like, a crazy lunge attack. They look cool, too. I mean, it's a really basic enemy design with the skeletons, but super effective for a dungeon. Like, this this feels very dungeon-y. I'm loving it. Okay. Let's see what's in here. There's another chest in here. Yeah, see, he screamed. Does that mean... Did he spawn a bunch of guys? Or did he just spawn the dog? I don't see a bunch of guys in here. But I, I think that scream does... Oh, it's more building blocks. Okay. I think that scream does something. Like, calls somebody or something. Well, our barrier is still in place, so we missed some... There's a lot of guys over there. Oh, they all, they all just turned at me at the same time. That was hilarious. Oh, here they come. Whoa. That guy has a huge leap attack. Okay, we're just going to have to swing in. There's so many guys. I'm so mad at all the XP we're missing. We're missing so much XP. Okay. Okay. Got some remnants over here. 
This is crazy, man. If this keeps going like this... Yeah, and you're, these are level 10, so, like, this is intended to be your first dungeon. I imagine you wouldn't want to even attempt these until you were at least mid-game. Could you imagine soloing this, like, in the early game? I, be a better player than I, for sure. That is for sure. Okay. Oh, these doors are open. We couldn't get in here before. There's another chest. Probably more building blocks. Take a look. Yep. More building blocks. More guys just going absolutely ham on us. Okay. Okay, there's another dude over there. He's just standing by himself. I don't know where all his friends went. But we dropped him. Oh! That was it, apparently. I'm gonna run in this other door that we couldn't go into before. I imagine it's just building blocks. But these building blocks look really cool, so I... I want them. Yeah. I want the building blocks. Give me all the building blocks. Alright. Let's go this way. Oh, there's a lot of dudes again. Okay. We're not getting any XP from them, so if I can avoid them... What is this? this the door to the boss battle? Maybe? Alright. I think we better handle business before we get ourselves into a situation we can't get out of. Because I want to heal up. And you guys are just absolutely ridiculous. Where are you going? <laughs> that was silly. That was silly. <laughs> All right. What's this door going to take us to now? What is this room? Kind of like some torture stuff going on here. Um. Oh, this was... We freed him. We freed the, the character. Guys, look at my axe health. It is like about to crack right now, so if we don't find a repair station, we're going to be in trouble. Okay, is this a boss room? Looks like a boss room. Do I open this? Okay, a legendary steel sword. Okay, I don't know if that's any better than our current legendary sword, but... Oh, what is that? Oh, it's like a staff charge. Yeah, we're not a mage. All right, we got a portal here. Let's take this. Yeah, this dungeon's really cool, man. They did a great job with this thing. I hear birds and stuff. It says the location is above. Summon your new follower. Is this it? I think we made it out. I think this... Yeah, this is the... We somehow circled back to the beginning. Because this is where we started from. Okay, yeah. First dungeon complete. And it was epic, man. That was some... Some epic battling going on there. Let's go ahead. Our inventory actually held up. Look at that. I mean, had I been crushing everything... What is this thing? Is this a bomb? Temporarily summon a skull companion. Wait. Say what now? Oh, you can summon those little things. Can you have multiple? What? You can make an army of these things? Okay. That, <laughs> that's freaking cool, man. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's cool. That's a great addition to the game. All right. Let's go home. <laughs> let's go home and summon our new guy. Oh, we got... People want to talk to us. Beware of the hollow. Oh, these were thieves that were cursed. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna summon this new guy. We... I don't even know where I have a summoning rod. I have to find it. Alright, I just made a new one. Because I, I could not find it. Should we put the guy up here? Let's see. Let's see what he looks like first. 
Or she, I guess it could be a she. Oh, they're like a dead crypt person. Hmm. I think maybe we don't have an NPC out here yet. And we have all this open space from our barn. Maybe we'll put them out here in the barn. They seem kind of creepy. Maybe the barn is the spot for them. I do have this open area here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll put them right here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, that's... That's definitely creepy. You trade. I listen. Howls are driven by resentment. They must be set free. Return the winds of fate. Okay. We need a key, apparently. Okay, they're gonna crush me to dust. <laughs> okay, he said the toll is little. Look at all this stuff. Wait, look at all this stuff. He's got all these quests. All right, what can he craft? He can craft a rebel wood bone key. I imagine we need that for the next dungeon. We'll go ahead and craft that right now. Can make though. Oh, we can make these summoning things. Yeah, we're. I feel like we're gonna need those as we get into higher level dungeons to have additional backup. To make an ectoplasmum gem. Oh, we can make the the cool tables. Okay, and he's got a crypt chair. You know what? You will return. I'm gonna leave this guy in here for now, but I'm thinking, if you remember, there's this hidden door that's down here. I think it's time that I do something with this door and have this go down. We like have it go down underground and make this guy his little crypt and we can decorate it with the, the crypt stuff we got. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. All right, guys. I'm going to call it here. Hopefully you enjoyed that. That was pretty insane. And um, you know what? Wait, before we end, let's take a look. So we only have one quest from all those things that he just said to us. We have one quest. Um, she has something. Maybe she's got a new quest. Your newest friends, quote unquote, <laughs> is yours alone. Oh, she's mad. Oh... Opinions on the collector. Interesting. Oh wait, other people have things to say. What does what does creepy guy in the basement have to say? That's probably he's like, oh, you found my best friend. That's my long childhood lost friend or something. Yeah. See what what is this guy's first response to this creepy new person being here? I wonder how he got his power. How can we get his power? Great. This is already causing discord amongst the housemates. She doesn't have anything to say. Let's see if they have anything to say about it. Oh, he does. He's probably mad, too. Okay, he's a little more reasonable. He's like, yeah, there's treasures. There's, like, new resources. That kind of thing. Alright. Interesting. And even with all that, our food is still going. Because we're just... The food is just that good. But, alright, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And I will see you in the next episode of Mining Positivity. Bye, friends.